Well, hey everybody, good afternoon. It's Muffy Clark Gill here. And years ago, my husband and I traveled to Isla Mujeres, Mexico. And we joined a couple other couples, my cousin for one and another couple we had met, on a catamaran for several days sailing in the Gulf of Mexico. And while we were sailing, we were off the coast of Isla and the captain of the boat said, jump in the water, we're gonna go snorkeling. So when he says, when you get in the water, take a look and watch the fish. I'm gonna give you some, some bread to feed these fish. So we said, okay, let's see what's going on. So they gave us hunks of bread. He started throwing them in the water. And all of a sudden, you know, you talk about a fish frenzy and a feeding frenzy. That is what happened. And my husband was swimming through the water and all these sheep's head are swimming around him. And I had my underwater camera with me and I was shooting pictures. So I started taking pictures of the exhibition, <laughs> to be a new exhibition, part of my water series. And I took several different images. There's one here, one here, and there's two. Wait a minute, I'll turn it, you can see a little bit more. There we go. Two more, and these are all pictures of my husband snorkeling, and I'm going along behind shooting pictures because I thought it was such a great thing to do. And when I got home, I wanted to do my own interpretation of it. So I did this as a batik on silk using the Japanese process. So I started off with the white silk and I drew my design on the fabric. And then I started adding my light colors, my pale creams, my pinky reds, my yellows, and waxed over them. Then I started adding my other colors. I added the blue background and this is Japanese kimono dye. So I added the blue background and waxed over that. And then I went back in and added my other colors. So you have my oranges, my pale yellows, some lavender up in here. And then I finally did black and the black was used to seal in and give some more body to the painting. So I like the piece so much, I decided to experiment and do a second piece. So let me show you the second piece. I thought, well, let me do it in green and see how that looks. So now you can see some more of the details of the fish, my husband swimming. And the little bubbles were made by dots of wax hitting the silk. And you can see another close-up of him with the fish all flocking around him. So it really was a fun, fun thing to do. And it was became a part of what I call my Agua or my water series. And the originals are available for sale on my website at mcgilltropicalart.com, but I wanted to bring up something special because rarely do I put these pieces on sale. And this Thursday afternoon at 5.30, I'm gonna be doing a live art show. And these two pieces are gonna be a part of it. So if you have had as much fun and you would like to enjoy these pieces as much as I have, come on and stop by and grab a drink. And, you know, I'll have a few pieces that we'll talk about and we'll do a live art show this Thursday, October 28th at 5.30 p.m. So I hope you'll sit back and join me. Meanwhile, I'm writing a newsletter. It'll come out on Wednesday and I'll talk about the first part of my trip to North Carolina. And I'll show you some pictures that I took. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I think you'll get a kick out of them. And then later on in the week, hi, Becky, it's good to see you too. And then later on during the week, I'm gonna do another talk about the show in Charleston again, because we had a great time there too. 
and we were treated very nicely. It was a lot of fun. And I got to meet some of the people from the other Nawa chapters. So on that cheery note, I'm Muffy Clark Gill, MC Gill Tropical Art, MuffyClarkGill.com. Come take a look, come visit me, write me, ask me questions. I'm always happy to respond, tell you about how I do my work using batik and mixed media and my photography. So I hope you'll have a great afternoon and I'll see ya. Thanks.